If it's bluish flame, that's a good fire for you. It will form an etheric or an akashic circle, which is very vital for one's perception. If you light fifty hundred lamps in your house and just sit there, something about you will change significantly. Tomorrow or day after tomorrow is uh, Dipavali or Diwali. Happy Diwali to all of you. <laughs> Dipavali means uh, it's the festival of lights. On this day, millions and millions of oil lamps are lit all over India. One day at least in the year, you do this and see vegetable oil of certain types. How to know whether it's a certain type or not? If you use steel oil or groundnut oil or uh, castor oil, this is naturally taken care of, but if you don't have access to that, if you light a lamp, you must light with that which has a very, uh, what to say, high smoking point. Smoking point you can know by if there is an yellow flame, uh, the, how much of it is blue, the tip? If the blue is more, that means it has a high smoking point. That's a good fire for you. If you like this, I'm, I'm particularly saying this because this will not happen with animal fat and other things that you use because it'll be just largely yellow light. But if you light vegetable oils, it has a very high smoking point. So if you light, let's say, uh, fifty hundred lamps in your house and just sit there, you will see something about you will change significantly. You turn off your electric lights and just oil lamps, you will see it will make a huge difference. Knowing this, before the onset of winter, you need a little bit of fire, otherwise the evolutionary memory tries to take you down. If you consciously slow down your life, there is no problem. But if you're being compulsively pulled down by something else, that's not good because that will lead to a depressed life, not a consciously still life. A conscious stillness is fantastic. But depression is not a good thing. Either physiologically or psychologically, you're a little depressed. That is not a good state to be in. It doesn't support the life that you are. The physiology and the psychological platform should support the life that you are. If they become like this, little, you know, physically you're unwell. Immediately mind tries to collaborate with the body and say, why am I alive? Is it really needed to be or not to be? Whether you clearly articulate that question or not, it comes up, isn't it? Hello? The moment taking the next step becomes burdensome for some reason, whatever the reason, suddenly question pops up, to be or not to be. So if you want to keep your life exuberant, ah, uh, you need a little light up, you need to be lit. So Diwali is that effort when life on this planet is moving, at least the northern hemisphere is moving towards hibernation. We try to light it up in many ways. From the next month onwards, one whole month people light up many, many lamps in their house to see that there's exuberance. There are music festivals, there are a variety of things so that you don't become like this in winter. If you're like that the throughout the year, no, I'm saying in the evening if you're always like this, because of something else, you're, you're in hibernating liquids. <laughs> when you create a fire with a very high smoking point, Let's say a, a, an oil lamp has 
uh, flame which is approximately three-fourths of an inch, let's say. In this, a third of it if it's bluish flame, then at least a minimum of a diameter of two and a half to three inches, it will form an etheric or an akashic circle, which is very vital for one's perception. Otherwise, food, sleep, reproduction, this, that, daily struggles are all only four elements. The fifth element doesn't come into a play. It's… if you want to enhance your perception, akash is vital. So, especially when the physical life is tending to slow down, you want to use that as a platform to enhance your, per your perceptional life. That's why Deepavali. So all of you, it doesn't matter what religion, culture you belong to because these are not religious festivals. Though these days, because of competition, it has become like that, unfortunately. Otherwise, this was celebrated by everybody because everybody understood this has got something with our geographical position, what position we have taken in the planet and what's happening to the planet at a given time. It's got something to do with our calendar and our solar system, not with our belief systems.